If I lived it all, fool it be bold I would never look away If I lived it all, lived it all, lose it all If I lived it all, outside the wall If you die another day I don't want anything, I'm just here to This is Christina with DC Anime Review. We're going to be discussing Season 4, Episode 3. And joining me is Pooja and Doreen. Hello. This episode... Oh, I was waiting for this episode it's in the manga chapter. Oh, this episode... Oh, <laughs> a lot of shit went down. It was beautiful. I, I love this episode. <laughs> that's my that's my review. Okay, that's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang up and, and not talk. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the shortest review I ever heard. <laughs> we call it a night. We yeah, call it a night. Yeah, that's at the end. That's our podcast. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no, we're, ki- we're kidding. We're kidding. Oh, my God. But this show, wow, it was really something. Like, it started, w- like, where we were continuing about Beast, got, um, Beast Titan, you know, Zeke, Zeke, got shot in the head. And, uh, you know, Aaron was going to go out. At- go towards Zeke and Reiner trying to stop him from attacking from getting near go, Zeke going to Zeke yeah, yeah. and, and Por- Porco kept trying but Aaron was like no I just I feel bad for that guy <laughs> he's like a literal pun- like everybody says Reiner's a punching bag nah Porco's more of a punching bag than Reiner oh my god I feel so bad for Farco and not only Farco like his brother because his brother was begging Zeke. He yeah, was be- he was saying, please, like, don't make your cry and cause every- everybody to turn to Titans. And he's like, I-, I understand, but I'm sorry, I have to do what I got to do. Yeah, you care you care about your brother, Colt. I care about my brother, too, so I got to do what I have to do. And, yeah, his yell basically unleashed But every- you could see in... And- yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so I'm saying, like, with Zeke, that... You know, Zeke kind of hesitated at first. He really did. Like, he felt he felt bad. It's not that he didn't feel bad, uh, but... He did he had, feel bad. He, was, he did feel bad. That moment you see in his face, like, his facial expression, like, he was hesitate a little bit. But then he was like, no, I have to follow the plan. I have to go on with this plan with Aaron, even if I'm going to hurt people I got close to. They were, like, family to me, you know? So... For him to say, like, I'm sorry what I'm about to do, and he still scream anyway, for them to become all Titans. And I feel bad because Colt, like, was shocked that Zeke went through with this plan and just didn't even, like, have no regard for Falco's well-being or any of their well, friends. Well, like I was saying, like, Colt cares about Falco. Zeke cares about Aaron. So he's like, he, like, you want to protect your brother. I have to protect my brother. Exactly. So I can understand why Zeke did it, and I understand what Colt, why Colt did it too. They both were doing it for both their brothers, and it's kind of sad because when Falco was trying to tell him, Stay, "Get away from me, Colt! Like I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to get in danger because Colt, of me." Colt wasn't letting go of him. No, because yeah. that was his brother. He yeah. was willing to protect his brother. And but but what fuck- can you what can you do when you're transforming into a titan? You can't do anything to that. Exactly. And what's really sad is that even everybody that we knew for all the season tight uh, attack on titan. Attack on titans, they all became titans. Yeah, everybody in the high military, they all became titans and that's ugh. Like I mean, if I if I, I I mean yeah, I care about Commander Pixis, like I care about Niles and the other characters. I'm just like, who are you people? I haven't seen you guys in 85 years. Like should I care about you <laughs> transforming into Titans? Like, I mean, yeah, I do care, but it's like, I haven't seen you guys in forever. Should I care? <laughs> exactly. And it's like, and you know what's heartbreaking? It's like, it became their worst nightmare. They became exactly like what they were fighting for Before, against again. these Titans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they became, became Titans, yeah. Yeah, they became Titans themselves. It was like the worst nightmare ever to happen to them. And then kill, eating their own comrades. That's yeah. even mess. They have no memory of what happened. Yeah, they don't remember anything. They're not yeah, gonna remember once, anything. Once you're out, what, yeah, because you're because those were mind. They became mindless titans. They have yes. 
They have no will of their own once Zeke tells them what to do because he has royal blood. Yeah. He has the that... Aldean King's blood inside his veins. People have to it's... listen to him. Yeah, and it's only if they eat another uh, Titan shifter. shifter. Yeah. That would be the only way that would, they would be able to, like... Regain some like... of their, you know, consciousness or, like, you know, regain some of their will of their own. Exactly. But that's what happened to Emir, but the other Emir, but that's... She was, uh... I remember, she was, like, a mindless Titan until that she, happened. Yeah, until she ate uh, Porco's brother. Yes. Yeah. Which is kind of funny. It's funny that you saying that about Farco brother. Yeah. And the next thing you know, is that well, Farco became the mightless titan, and he was at this close of breaking Ryder's neck, and Ryder yeah. was gonna let him. Buy, uh, yeah, let he him was. Get, he was. He was giving. No, Ryder, you're not allowed to give up. Yeah. That's just. <laughs> you Reiner, can't die. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's funny because Reiner was doing that because then if he did that, he would be not be a mindless titan. That's true. Yeah, yeah. and he figured yeah. that. You remember, Farco at first was going to take over the titan anyway. He was going to take over being an armored titan yeah, for Gabby. in order to prevent from Gabby becoming a titan. And then yeah. the look on Gabby's face to see Farco become this mindless titan. It's terrify her. It really terrify her. And then the thing is now, you thought for a moment Cole was dead. And then Cole, at the split second, had like like only like a brief life, uh, whatever left of him, like life left of him. Yeah, but then, and also, and then I mean, I mean, and then, and then Falco ate him anyway. I know. And that's what's so messed up. That's the most messed up part that Falco will not real. He, he, the saddest part is that Falco's going to realize later that he ate he, his own brother. He ate his brother, and he also ate uh, the Jaw Titan. He also ate Porco, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. And that's what's really sad. And that it's devastating that now that, like, now Cole, it's, you know, is gone because... They're both gone. Now Cole's, Cole's, gone. Cole's gone. Cole's gone and Porco's gone. Both. Yeah. I know. gone. Right now, gone, right now. They're At gone, this episode, yeah, yeah fuck, long gone. Yeah. And it's really sad. It's, it's, like, to me, like, that's so messed up. Wait what a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What? Falco ate Porco, and Porco was the Jaw Titan. Does that mean yes. Falco has the Jaw Titan's powers? Yes. Yes. So he is so, soon he's going to have the ability of the Jaw Titan. Yeah. I just, I just he realized, realize that. Yeah. I just realized that. Like, wait a minute, he ain't Porco. Wait a yeah. minute, then that means he's gonna have the Jaw Titans. Part. Damn. Yeah, no. I just realized that. <laughs> As a manga reader, I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That, I just, I just realized that. That's, in, that's <laughs> ironic about that. Wow, mind blowing. <laughs> yes. Okay, that was so mind blowing. Yes, mine so is. Then, speaking, speaking of yes. minds being I'm, blown. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> Oh, poor, uh, I don't know if I should say poor Aaron or say, yes, he got what he deserved, but uh, yeah, poor Aaron. Gabby was not taking that shit. She was no, like, no, she was not. Yeah, that's why I said last week. I, that's why I said last week, don't let her near that anti Titan assault rifle thing. That's yeah. why I said that. And she did not, ha I mean, she kind of, she did have to date. She did feel bad about what she was going to do, but, you know, I don't blame her for, for doing what she did. No, I don't blame her either because this is a moment actually when she. Uh, it's Aaron' head looked like a top, you know, like a spinning top. <laughs> I <laughs> thought of as it was like going in the air. Yeah, yeah, his his head, his head, his head went rolling, and that was that was that was intense. I was waiting on that. <laughs> Rolling, yeah, exactly. rolling, rolling. Be before we get to the pad stuff, um, man, you know, the survey corps, they did not hold back nothing. No, no, they, they were not holding back. I was like, what the F? Guys, what are you doing? I'm supposed to be cheering for you. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, they didn't hold back at all. They didn't stop at nothing. No, uh -oh. they, they were not. Yeah, but now we finally, we finally get to good stuff. Yay! Yes, yes. <laughs> And I'm very excited. You're very excited. Cause I am excited because Ymir. yes, oh, Ymir, this Found child. Ymir. I want to hug, hug her. She need she needs to make a little doggy and like just cuddle it. She can make whatever she wants in the sand, right? So she can just make create a little doggy and have a pet. 
Yeah. She, she, Aaron's head is the pet. Oh my god! <laughs> really? Just to get a leash, yeah. just like you know, attach it to the head. Yeah. Just walk around, roll. You know, but it oh, was child. This child. This child. This child. Oh, this child. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Amir. Amir. Ah. Oh. I can't wait. I, I can't wait for this girl's backstory, man. I know. I can't wait either. And. Please don't say it. If you guys read the manga, don't say it out like yeah, any don't, don't about. Yeah, don't say anything. Yeah, don't say anything. I'm just like I'm. I'm curious though. I am one thousand yep. percent curious how yep. they're gonna animate her backstory. I know exactly, and I, we can't say because I, I know it. we talk about it in the uh, the other podcast, but we're just gonna be hush about it. Yeah, until... let's let's continue talking about the conversation Zeke and Aaron were having. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So uh, Aaron, so Aaron went uh, Uno reverse card on Zeke and was like, Nah, I'm not. I don't want your euthanization plan. I'm doing my own thing. Yeah. yeah, which that was like so messed up. Like he just double crossed um, Zeke. Yeah, he like, double crossed his own brother. brother. Yeah, backstabbed him. He backstabbed him pretty much. That's like so messed up. And like, and Zeke was like kind of heartbroken, like right there. Cause he's yeah, like, he's like, he's like, he's like, bro, I thought we were cool, man. What, what the hell? Yeah, <laughs> and you told me all these things, and then we, we, I thought we had like this brotherly bond, more like this moment, like we're gonna, like, you know, save the world and and everything like that. But Aaron has his own version of how he wants to save. The world, like, well, that, what well I don't know about that. Which, which... I don't. That's gonna happen later, but we're not saying yeah. nothing. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But right now, that's not what he, that to us is not definitely not saving the world to us. You know the way. I don't know. How, I, I don't know. I think I think Christina's like, yeah, he did save the world, right? Yeah, he saved the world. Oh my god. Yeah. We'll say that. He, he's doing some <laughs> cleanup jobs. Yeah, okay, we'll so, say yeah. that. How he <laughs> likes to wipe the whole <laughs> planet in, uh, in one sweep. Like, seriously. Do you yeah, um... but, but when they were asking Ymir for her <laughs> power and Aaron was commanding Ymir, she said she she didn't listen to him. She just went straight to Zeke. Yeah, she's yeah. like, F you. <laughs> and it's stupid because Zeke was the one with the royal blood. Yeah, not Zeke, Zeke has the Eldian king's blood in his veins because of his mother's side. Not because of Grisha, because of, no. uh, I forgot her name. Dina, Dinah, whatever her name is. I, yeah, I think it was Dina, right? Diane? Diane? No, no I, think, but, I think it was Dinah, something like that. Yeah, Dinah, I think something you're right, like Dinah. that. Yeah. Something like that. But it's true because Zeke, it's, remember, they're half brothers. They weren't. They're, yeah, they're, they're not biological brothers, they're half brothers. The half brother, so he really had more. Zeke really was the one with the war blood, and because he had the war blood, Father Amir only follow whoever has the war blood, blood in them. Yeah, yeah. Because, and, and because, because more of because of too. yeah so, because of spoilers, that's why. <laughs> yes, because of spoilers. Yeah, because yeah. of spoilers, it didn't yeah. Say because that has to do a lot with her back backstory. Yeah, yeah. Back. But I don't know. I mean, the, at the end, they did touch foreheads, and shit's gonna go down next week. Also, oh, it's gonna be yeah. so good. It's gonna be so good. I'm ready. <laughs> it's gonna be really good. I just bought a Dragon Z fusion dance or like that moment, but instead of a fusion dance, it's like a fusion head bud. That's yeah. what I feel. I was like, okay. And it was like interesting. You saw lightning go right through their head when they just yeah, pop it. Yeah, because, um, because of because of spoilers. That's why. That's that's next, next week. That's next week. Next you, week. You'll get your answers next week. Exactly. I next, can't wait. Next that. week's episode and the following episode after that. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be, be really so good, good. <laughs> especially the title "Memories of the Futures? Future." Yeah, of the future, something like keep that. Keep yeah. that, keep that title in mind for those of you who have no idea what the fuck is going on. Yeah, keep that, but keep we, that title in mind. Exactly, keep that in mind. That title of the epi- of the next episode. Yeah. The next so, week. should we final thoughts? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Where do to go? I'll go. All right. Uh, well, my final thought is that this episode was really good, really intense, and everything like that. And you know what? We're, we're gonna. I'm just curious of what's like between Aaron and Zeke, little headbutt, and what that's gonna happen um, next. Because at first, I'm thinking when they headbutt, I'm thinking they're gonna fuse together. I don't know, yes. like fuse their power Fusion, or fuse yeah. or become like. A Titan with two heads. I don't know. I I I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's but a, that's a good theory. I'm keeping my mouth shut. I uh, yes. 
<laughs> and that I hope that there's a way that Falco and the rest of them can come back normal, or back reverse the reverse that fluid inside their body. Well, Falco it's, will be okay because he ate he ate, ate a titan shifter, so he's yes. fine. He's okay. He's not going to be a that's mindless That's true. Titan. That's true. So he's going to be Everyone he's, else he's, no. He's, Everyone but, else no. But that's what's sad. That's just, and I think that was really sad how that that everybody got affected by that and they have no idea and I'm just wondering the aftermath once they once they if they ever do go back normal, will them will they be normal? Will they really be normal yes. mentally because of what just happened? No, no, no one is mentally okay in the world of Attack on Titan. I know, I know, but I'm just saying. But they, overall, this show was really good. They're all going, and to I can't wait to see what happened next week. Trust so. this order. Well, yeah, they all kind of have it. They all, yeah, they all kind of have it. Yeah. All right, so. Christina. Final thoughts. All right, my final thought is. Um, a lot of shit's gonna go down. Uh, birthday buddy's gonna end up doing a lot of damage, and uh, his head is missing. So, <laughs> what are we gonna do? Uh, anybody got super Did glue? He, <laughs> I think that head thing he smacked when they, they hit together. <laughs> when he hit them together, he put it. He, he put glue, and he glued his head back <laughs> on his body. <laughs> well, I am not saying anything. Are you done? And, no, I'm not done. Okay. You asked for my final thoughts. I'm giving them to you. Okie dokie. So, the, the other final thoughts is, um, I think, uh, I don't know. I, th- I think, uh, uh, Gabby is, is, is gonna be, uh, given a, a medal. <laughs> what, for shooting Aaron in the head by the Marleyan army? Yes. A medal of honor. <laughs> yeah, she's getting a medal of honor. Oh my god. And... <laughs> She's gonna become a queen, and she's gonna rule everyone. Christina, what the fuck? Well, I mean, she's an Aries too. She has to rule right. too. This is uh, her yeah, yeah. theory. Theory. Because I would rule the world too. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, if I was an Attack on Titan, I'd be ruling everyone. You'd be I would dead. Be the same uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure you'd be. Doing. You, I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure you'd be dead. Um, no, I'd be alive. Um, well, just as she said that, I think we need to crash her right now. We have to <laughs> deny her right Nobody's now. Nobody's killing right away, me. Right away, because she's like too much of an evil, have an evil yeah, mastermind she, 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 already. She, she, and she's, she's thinking, she's thinking like Aaron. <laughs> yeah, she does. And that's spooky. But anyway, anyways, my... Well, and I'm done. Okay. Uh, okay, my, you... my final thoughts is, <laughs> I have been waiting 85 years for this episode to air since I read the manga. That's one thing. <laughs> Five years. Wow. You look pretty good for your age. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's the secret? Like, seriously. You know, 85 years. The, the, wow. the whole the whole pads things was animated. Oh, it was so beautiful. The whole pads thing was beautiful. It looked like a freaking summer vacation. Well, not really summer vacation. I shouldn't say that. Because then you're stuck there forever. So, so, so that's not a good thing. But it was it was very well animated. This this whole episode was uh, top notch. Mafa, good job, good job, Mafa. I give you I give you all the crowns. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but like I've been saying, next week's episode is gonna be huge ass, big spoiler reveals. Like everything you know about Attack on Titan, next week is just gonna shatter everything. You know shit. Yes, I know too much shit. We know a lot. But they don't know enough shit. <laughs> but they don't know a lot yeah, and then the week after that is, is uh, I, I, I don't, I'm not, I, I, it's like I've read that part of the manga chapter, but it's like, uh-huh. my, I'm not, I'm not emotionally prepared to see the week after next week's episode. Oh, I am not is... prepared for that. So all I'm saying is to you guys is, Prepare yourselves for these two next episodes. It's gonna it's oh. gonna blow your minds. And for that, we'll see you guys for another fun Attack on Titan podcast. Bye.